scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now, he didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the M.O. of the previous murders? Step body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Prince, indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Did they plan for the murder to happen here? Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting.
Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. They planned for the murder to happen here, passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. At somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. <laughs> 